Together, let's sing. Come on. I can hear it, the magic of Christmas in the air. We're moving and grooving, joy is everywhere. And oh, 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 snow is falling down. I said, whoa, oh, 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 can you hear the sound? I said, oh, we're gonna have a party. Yeah, we're just getting started. Let's dance. It's time to jingle, jingle, jingle. Oh, everybody get your hands up. Nothing else could be better. Let's dance. It's time to jingle. Get them up now. Ba la la la, yeah, yeah. Ba la, let it snow. Come on, let's say. Ba la la la, yeah, yeah. Ba la, here we go. We're feeling holly. It's jolly, it's the best time of the year is See the wonder in a manger The whole world needs to hear it And whoa, oh, 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 oh Snow is falling down I said, whoa, oh, 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 oh Can you hear the sound? I said, oh, we're gonna have a party Yeah, we're just getting started Let's dance, it's time to jingle, jingle Oh, everybody get your hands up Bala, let it snow, everybody! Bala, la, la, yeah! Bala, here we go! Come on! Take the hoes with Chico Bell! All the mountains go in hell! We're shining light, giving hope, singing carols as we go! Here with friends and family! Oh, what joy the Savior brings! Peace and love are here to stay! Let everybody know it's Christmas Day! Oh, 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 snow is falling down! Up a hand, good singing. That was great. I gotta, whoa, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, I am so super excited to be here. Are you guys excited to be here right now? Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's the deal. I really want to do like a, good, a quick exercise. I mean, I want you guys to scream like until your face shakes, okay? Because this is the day to get super excited. So on three, if you're excited, if you can feel the excitement, face shaking. One, two, three, let me hear it. Yes! I'm so super excited. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's calm down. Okay, no, no, we're not going to calm, calm down. Let's calm down. No, Mike, we're not going to calm down because this is... Christmas, and I'm not just talking about Christmas lights and Christmas gifts, I'm talking about something bigger that we all get to be a part of, and that, my friends, is compassion, okay? That's the theme today. It's compassion. This is how we define compassion. Put it up there. There it is. Caring enough to do something about someone else's needs. Wow, I just cannot think of anything better to celebrate during Christmas time or really any time at all. Compassion. The, it's the, amazing. Tony, mm -hmm. Tony, sorry. listen. It doesn't matter what you're saying. Okay, listen. let's all... <laughs> Let's all repeat the definition together at once. Compassion is, here we go, caring enough to do something about someone else's need. Wow, we're killing it. Okay. All right, listen, That's listen, listen, listen. I, I'm going to have to interrupt here for a second, okay? Because we have been talking all year long sure. about how this year's Jingle Jam okay. is going to be different than the others. Yeah, no, I'm Because this, this year, okay. I have pledged mm -hmm. to get out of the way of Christmas, to let the Christmas story shine <laughs> brightly like it should, and I shall simply disappear My, into the background like that's that. That's a great idea. I'm right. a little shocked, especially because of what you, what you got going on here. I like to wear my belt tie, okay? So listen, I wore this 
as a, as a metaphor okay. of what I am trying to do this year, All right. which is to let Christmas be forward and forward. I disappear into the background. Well, that's just Shine, Christmas, shine. Okay. Don't, don't sing. Do not sing, okay? We're going to get back on the mission here. I'm excited because, of course, we are having a simple Christmas. But no, we're, we're not having, having a, a sense... simple Christmas. No, see, you, I don't think you listen to me sometimes. I'm just, well, just letting you say that, okay? Wearing that outfit. We are not having a simple Christmas. Okay. We are having a sensible Christmas. I'm... You're welcome. Sen okay, sensible. I get that. It's simple. It's cool. Not I simple. Have... Okay. Since okay. a bowl. This year, my plan is to tell the world the Christmas story by using the four human senses. Okay, so that's what you meant by sensible. You want people to experience Christmas using their... Four. The four no, there's, senses. But there's, there's actually five. The five senses. There we go. Let's start there. The five senses five of Christmas. Senses. Okay. This year, okay. ladies and gentlemen, you are in for a treat, for I shall share with you the Christmas story. You will experience Christmas through okay. your sight eyeballs. Okay. You will experience Christmas through your ear loopholes, if that's okay. a thing. You will also experience Christmas through your taste bud tongue parcels. Okay, all right. And... You will experience Christmas with your finger bud since thing. Touch. There we go. No, Mike, don't touch Just me. like that. Do not touch me. I'm okay. sorry. All now, right. Smell. For, I, listen, I know we don't agree sometimes, but I do not smell. I just want you to know that, okay? I don't know why you say Mike, mean things sometimes. Mike, I wasn't saying that you smell. I'm saying you left out smell. I try sense. to leave out smell every day. That's why I shower once a week and do laundry once a month, okay? okay that's just nasty. I don't want to smell. That is nasty, Mike. That is I, nasty. You can't leave out smell. That is the fifth sense. Okay, sure. All right, so yeah. Well, you smell. Well, you smell. Is that what you okay. want to hear? I'm not. Okay, okay. that's okay. enough. All right. all right. Thank you so very much. Okay. I'm excited about Christmas, Mike. I want it to be an amazing Christmas. That's why we have all these amazing Christmas decorations. We. Yep. There they are. They look pretty. Yep. Mike. Yep. Those trees. Yep. They're. Green. They're empty. <laughs> they're not empty. No. They're what? beautiful. No, they, they are, are empty. I decorated all those trees. They... Where are the decorations at? Shh, I put the pencils. You're talking. Okay. They are sensible trees. That's what they are. See? Like, I spent hours decorating those Christmas trees. And I Wait. spent hours undecorating them. Okay. So we're even. So there you go. <laughs> I'm not sure why you would do that. They were so beautiful. I mean, they had well, lights on them. And <laughs> Tony. So plain. Here's the thing. I felt like these trees commercialized Christmas and got in the way of the true meaning of Christmas, so I have stripped them okay. of all their worldly value. Okay, thank you and so much. And I have left them right. plain and simple, okay. for these trees are all right. sense Okay. Okay, I definitely Christmas heard that trees. the first seven times that you said it, but let's get back on mission here, okay? okay. Let's get focused. We are talking about a Christmas story. Right. Not about And mission. we are going to... Introduce to you the Christmas story through the first sense, and that is the sense of sight. Okay. And so we are going to redecorate your Christmas trees. Well, how is that any different than I already decorated them? Yes, what? you did. And it was a noble effort. Okay? However, I think mm -hmm. I can find two people out here who can decorate these trees way better in a much more sense a bull way. Thank you so okay? much. I would love to All right. see you do that. Here's what we're going to do. I need two volunteers to come up here on stage. Let me see what we're going to do. Oh, wow. We are ready. Let's go one. All right. And two right up there. Come on. Here we go. Let's go. Okay. Give them a round of applause. Let's make our way up to the stage. All right. Tony. Yeah. I have some people here who are ready to decorate okay. these trees, okay? You guys come over it. here, center it's stage. The same thing that I did. Right here, we're going to have you right over thing. here. What is your Hi. name? Hello, Tina. Tina. Hi, Hi Tina. Tina. What is your name? Courtney. Courtney. Everybody say, Hi, Tina and Courtney. Hi. Tina and Courtney. All right. Tina and Courtney, I'm feeling kind of good right now. I don't know about you, but I have my assistants spraying these trees 
with, with adhesive that apparently just is really awesome. All right, so <laughs> I love Christmas. All right. All right, so here's what we're going to do. It's a very simple game. You guys are going to decorate these trees. There's all sorts of Christmas tree decorations in here. Those are the same exact. No, they're, they're different because I added packing peanuts into here. So it's way different. It's way different. Okay, so there's ribbons. There's garland. There's all sorts of stuff. When I say go, you're going to face back to back. You're going to share this tub. This tub has to stay here in the center. You guys are going to grab decorations. You're going to run and throw stuff on the tree. You have 60 seconds to do that. At the end of 60 seconds, we're going to let the crowd decide who has the best sense a bowl Christmas tree. You got it? Makes sense? All right. Turn your backs to each other right here. And when I say go, we're going to count down from three, okay? What? You ready? This doesn't, this doesn't even look any different. Three, two, wait. No, wait. I'm sorry. I forgot one element of the game here that um, oh. here's, I need, I need you, to, okay. I need you to put this on real quick and go ahead and fasten that. And then I need you to put that on right there. Wow. And this is going to add a little resistance, okay? So um, you get that buckled up. Have so fun. now when I say go, you guys are going to grab decorations and try to get to your tree to decorate it. And the person who has the most sensible looking tree at the end is going to win. You ready? You good? All right, ready? Wow. Three. You guys cheer them on. Two, one. Here we go. Go. Decorate those trees. Oh. Decorate those trees. Here we go. They're both. Oh, oh, come on. Let's move it. You can do it. You got it. Packing peanuts. Oh my God. Run, run, run. You come on. You can do it. Dig in. Come on. Let's go to the street. Oh. Come on. You can do it. I can't help her, Mike. Let's go. 28 seconds. Okay. It's so. Do you work with children? Uh, come on over here. Wow. You can, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you know what Christmas is about? One, three, two, one. Give them a hand. Wow. You guys can take you can take this off. That that what aggression. I'm 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 scared. Okay, so let's take a look at this tree. Oh, that looks good. It's very, very sensible looking. Alright, so if you think this is the most sensible looking Christmas tree, give it a round of applause. Alright. Not bad. You did good. Yeah. I think you won. I'm scared. Okay, so. If you think this is the most sensible looking tree, give it a hand. That's, wow. that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, so for both of you guys, we have Jingle Jam wrapped up. CD, some Christmas music for you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Give them a hand, everybody. Well. Wow. That was yeah. shockingly violent. That was... <laughs> Definitely not the Christmas spirit. Um, now these but, trees, these trees aren't beautiful. I'm gonna be honest with you. But no, they are they're not beautiful. A sight but they are sensible, and we have checked see. off the first sense, the sense of sight. Done. Great. Okay. I'm now. Thank you. No. No. And now we're gonna transition. Yeah. To the mission. Nope. Before we do that, though, we are gonna transition to sense number two. Okay. We did sight. And okay. now we're going to do sound, okay? Sound, okay. So I've invited a couple of my friends here okay. who are going to tickle your earbuds and your earlobes and whatever. They're tickle, tickle you, okay? So okay. Um, our, our two favorite friends and the, the, the greatest Scottish rappers ever in the world. Uh-oh. Here for the 12 days of Christmas, watch this video. It's MC Haggis and Seamus McFamous. Here we go. I'm MC Haggis, the world's greatest Scottish rapper. And this is Seamus McFamous, the world's greatest Scottish beatboxer. Hey, give him a taste of what you can do. Oh, that was electric. And we are experts on sound, but not just hip hop beats. We also dabble in the ancient music of our Scottish ancestors. That's right, punk rock. 
Hi. <laughs> so sit back and let your earlobes be bombarded with totally awesome Christmas sounds. Isn't that right, Seamus? Hi. Let's kick it. Hey, Seamus. Hi. Yeah, you. Can I tell him what you got me for Christmas? Hi. Great. Here we go. On the first day of Christmas, my bestie gave to me a throw-in rock, cause it's free. Ow! On the second day of Christmas, my bestie gave to me two Scottish chips. And a throw-in rock, cause it's free. Ow! Stop that! On the third day of Christmas, my bestie gave to me three tweed coats, two Scottish chips, and a throw-in rock, cause it's free. Any more blows to the head with a throne rock. So we're just gonna jump to the twelfth day. Everyone count along! On the twelfth day of Christmas, my bestie gave to me twelve Whoa. gamer tosses, Aye. eleven backpacks by me, ten sheep my shaven, Aye. nine locked sponsors, Aye. eight kills for wearing, Aye. seven cozy dumplings, Aye. six spades and goats. Okay. Well. Yep. That was. That was something. Okay. Yep. We definitely got yep. the sense of sound. Yep. All so twelve the sense days of it. Sight, sight. Sense of sound. Sound. That's right. Now, now listen. We're gonna get back on mission. All we right. are we're in just one story. moment. Whoa! What a second. We're gonna move on to Mike. the sense of touch. No. Listen. Sorry. No. Sorry. We're not. Yep. Okay. My bad. I'm sorry. We're gonna do the sense of touch. No, okay. I have I have a plan. I have a plan. Okay. Doesn't involve you. It involves them. Okay. You're gonna touch them. Oh, you, well, no. Okay. So. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, okay. So. That was a little weird. <laughs> we are gonna look. I need three. I need three volunteers. <laughs> okay. There we go. There Who we go. All okay. right. Let me come what out are here. You gonna, are you grabbing more people? Let's play a game. Oh goodness. Where you get in the general vicinity of something, and you may or may not lay your hand upon it. Let's call it that game, because that throws off the tongue. I wasn't nervous. Now I am. All right, I'm looking for more. three people who want to play a part. Let me see. Go back here. Let me get one right here. All right, two Whoa. right here. Right back there. Yes, man. The right the there. All right, come on. There, there's three. Give them a hand. You guys come up okay. on stage. You should be nervous. <laughs> okay. There we go. You be there you go. Right well. up the staircase, right there. All right, Tony. I'm feeling really good about this one. I good. Got some great contestants stretch. here. Okay. All right. I think these these I gals right them. here. Yeah, they're they're gonna be better I than the last you. the last two. Who okay. Didn't wow. To the thing we said. All Hopefully right. Not let's, as aggressive. Because all right. So here's what I need you to do, is that we are gonna play a game about the. Uh, I can't say this without giggling. Okay. So, the touches of Christmas. I just. So what I need you guys to do is to come over here to this wall right here, okay? And you guys are going to, let me move this guy okay. right here. And you guys are going to turn around and face this and let me tell you why. Because in a moment, we're going to bring out a table. Bring out the table right now. Let's do it right now. We'll show you what we're going to do, okay? We have this table right there. Oh, goodness. And then we have this box. And so as we talk oh. about utilizing the sense of touch, we are going to place this box right here where you cannot see it. And then we are going to place in here some different random Christmas, maybe or not, I don't know, 
we'll see not limited to the general vicinity of Christmas objects inside of here that you will be able to see, but you will not be able to see. And the goal of the game is to come over here and reach your arm okay. inside of here and tell us what is in the box. Oh. All right. You guys up for that? All right. So come on over here. And you guys yeah. got to face the wall so you don't see what's coming out. No peeking, time no out. cheating. Okay. What? What's what? You good? I what? just put them in timeout. Okay. You got them, you don't got do them in timeout. Don't do that in your churches. Okay. Here we go. Guys, it's, what are we doing? What are we doing? I don't, it's falling apart! It's falling apart! <laughs> it must All be right. in preschool. Okay, here we go. All right, so we have object number one. Ooh. And please, crowd. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Ew. All right, so we're going to place this in the box right there. That looks weird, too. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, so what is, what is your name? Tanya, everybody say hi to Tanya. Hi, Tanya. All right, Tanya, we're going to place you right here. And then, yeah, Tanya, <laughs> Tanya, when I say go, you're going to place your hand inside of there. And then you need to be able to correctly identify what is in the box by using your sense of touch. Okay. Got it? Yeah. All right, Tanya, here we go. When you're ready. <gasps> oh. Oh. No. What is that, Tanya? What is it? Is it porcupine? Oh, it's, it's one of those dollar tree, uh, dollar store trees that are like a triangle. Why has it got to be a dollar store tree? <laughs> Maybe it's from Pottery Barn. You don't know. <laughs> Sheesh! Tanya, you are correct. It is a tree. There you go. Dollar store tree. Come on over here, Tanya. We got a gift for you. Tanya, for correctly identifying the tree, you wow. get... Fruitcake! Wow. One pound of it, all right. Right over here, Tanya. Give Tanya a hand, everybody. Way to go. Don't all eat right. that, okay? Don't eat it. Object. <laughs> Object number two. We have... Oh. You got it. Oh. You got it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> ah. That is not good at all. Now it's Christmas. <laughs> all right. Are you ready? Oh. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> so what is your name? Can I open my eyes? Uh, sure, you can. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to walk with your eyes closed. I'm, I'm sorry. My bad. You can open your eyes. Thank you. What is your name? Shayla. Shayla. Everybody say hi, Shayla. Hi, Shayla. All right, Shayla. So we're one for one so far. So when you're ready, you can reach inside of there. Don't look in the box. Look out towards the audience. And with your left hand, please correctly identify what's in the box. Oh. Shay ooh. What, what do you think it is, Shayla? <laughs> yeah, do I need to scoot it over, Shayla? Oh, uh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Can that what? Well, yeah, what you need to identify, I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is, there it is. Hey, Shayla. You got to feel it to know it, girl. What, what is? What? <laughs> dog poop? Did you, I'm sorry, was that dog food or dog poop? <laughs> okay. Some kind of jello. Mmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> now we're cooking. What do, you, what do you think it is? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's nasty. No? <laughs> Shayla, I would, I would completely disagree with that. Okay. <laughs> completely disagree with that. It's processed goodness. Hmm. <laughs> oh. I like that. That's an idea. All right. Any idea? What? Is it fruit? Mm. Sure. Yeah. It could be called that. It's got berries in the name ish. Saint cranberries? Yay! Hey! I don't eat cranberries. You don't eat cranberry? Come here. You're missing out. Come here. You know, that's delicious. Did he just eat that? Mike, you, that's enough. Are you wearing lotion? Ah! Ah! 
Hand sanitizer, great, perfect. That's what I love. All right, Shayla, we have for you a very special gift. Hey, look, it's another pound of fruitcake. There you go. Give Shayla a hand. All right, thank you so much. So sorry. Again, again, don't eat that. Okay? All right. Can we get her a napkin, please? Yeah, can we get, we get her something? There we go. All right, here we go. Last item right here. Man, I'm telling you, these gals are doing good. All right. It's the last one. So oh, my goodness. This, is, this might be equally as nasty. I'm not sure. In fact, I'm sure it is, okay? Like, I, I don't know about you over here, but I would want no part of what's in that box right now, okay? Come on over here. Oh, boy. What is yeah. your name? Amanda. Amanda. Everybody say hi, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. All right, Amanda, you know how this goes. We're two for two so far, all right? So when you stick your hand in here without looking, I want you to correctly identify what's in the box. Okay? You ready, Amanda? Maybe. Maybe? Okay. Well, take your time. We got all day. All right? Oh, do we? Oh, Let's just sit here awkwardly and look at each other. All right. Here we go. Amanda's reaching in. What do you think it is? I don't know yet. I haven't tested it yet. Oh, well, okay. Let me see what you got over here. Oh. <laughs> hi. It's your favorite host. Just wanted to say hi. There we go. No, that was not it. Because that wasn't gross. Like we said, it was gross, and you. Oh, it's fruitcake. You think so? And you would be correct. There it is. It is a block. Okay, so Amanda, you did great. And for your prize, we have, oh, look. It's fruitcake. There you go. Give Amanda a hand, everybody. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay, okay, okay. I must admit that one was kind of fun, Mike. That was good. That was good. So we have that checked off, Tony. Good. Let me see if I can keep uh -huh. count okay. of all the brilliant ways okay. I'm telling the story of Christmas. You, I wouldn't say brilliant. It is I through the sense say. of sight. Check. Yep. The sense of sound. Got it. Check. The sense of touch. Check. 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 Well, that's wonderful, Mike. You okay. like fruitcake, Tony? I No, I do not like fruitcake. Oh. And let me say this. If you're thinking about getting me fruitcake for Christmas, please don't. Get it. No, I wasn't thinking Thank about you. that what at all. What were you thinking not about? at all. Um, so, yeah, I need to do some Christmas shopping. I mean, it's only April. I've got plenty of time. My but, uh, yeah, I've Wait. got to do some Christmas shopping for you. Are still. you going to go to the mall for me? <laughs> I am not going to go to the mall because I hate people. Okay? So, okay. I do my Christmas shopping Thank you. Thank you. like all good introverts okay. through the Home Shopping Network. That's what I do. That is just wonderful. Well, listen, we're going to get back on track, like I've been saying. Okay. We're going to talk about the Hang mission, on. folks. Hang on. Before you do that. I have another sense to talk about, okay? Mm. And this one I think you're going to like because this is about the sense of smell, which, by the way, something's funky up here. Okay. All right? So, so this not only involves a sense of smell, yes. but also I might get some good gift ideas for you from our friends at the Christmas Shopping Network. Check okay. out this video. I'll take that. Here we go. Welcome back to the Christmas Shopping Network. The holiday season is upon us. Not to mention a festive feast of feelings. Well, that's right, Jackie. So a today, North Pole pile of pressure. Which is why today A we're, snowstorm of stress. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> today, we're gonna be smelling the must-have scent for every hostess. Our new Christmas-themed Frivolous Vinegars Aromatherapy Collection. Each vinegar is designed with a special smell to help you overcome the stress of the season so you can relax and be merry. Using the Frivolous Vinegars Aroma Diffuser, you can turn the smell of Bah Humbug into the smell of Holly Jolly Christmas. Simply place a few drops of your Frivolous Vinegar of choice in the diffuser, press the start button, and in minutes, you'll be breathing in the smell of the season. <laughs> wow, bracing, just like the first snowfall of the season. But remember, frivolous vinegars should only be enjoyed with the official diffuser. Do not drink our vinegars, as it may result in facial tics and swelling of the lips and tongue. Jackie, why don't you show them our first frivolous vinegar? <laughs> this vinegar is, is called... Uh, uh, it 
it's called Goodwill Towards Men, Women, and Kids That Aren't Even Yours. <laughs> it's perfect for when you're the dressing room monitor for all the four-year-old sugar plum fairies at your daughter's performance of the Nutcracker. Uh, Jackie? Uh, thank you, Heber. Have you and your husband ever forgotten where you've hidden your Christmas gifts? Christmas gifts. And then you have, you need to try apple cider and vinegar. Did you drink one of these? Maybe a bit of what? This delightful set of holiday frivolous vinegars can be yours for the low, low price of $999.93. Order now while supplies last. While supplies last. Join us after the break as Lula Bro presents their new men's after Christmas dinner pants called the Expandable. I don't feel so good. Don't miss it. Go to commercial. <laughs> a great time. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm a little glad it's just you and I out here right now. <laughs> because here's the deal. I have a video for you, okay? And this video is going to really tell us the story of Christmas. I mean, we're going to talk about senses. We're going to even talk about a sixth sense. Because here's the deal. Here, here, here's what we know. Mike is crazy, okay? <laughs> and then, okay, his intentions are good, all right? But he crazy. Okay, and his methods and ways, they just lack a little bit of like, uh, East. I wasn't gonna say that, I mean, that was pretty low, actually. No. Tis I! Put your hands down. Reginald Fastidious the Third. The world's greatest one-man Shakespearean Bible storyteller, reenactor, and part-time junkie booth operator at the local fair. I am here to inspire, to inform, and to to C confound confound you with my performing arts thusly. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Reginald is a local actor <laughs> who tries to help me tell Bible no, stories. No, no, nay, I succeed in bringing Bible stories to life. And wow. tonight, I have chosen a story, the greatest story ever, about the birth of the savior of the world. Wow. It's a one-man show and I call it the Sensible Christmas Partial Musical Extravaganza! I'm sorry, par partial musical? What well, is it? I can't sing, <laughs> but there's some music. This performance came to me one night in a vision after I had eaten a very large portion of leftover Thai food. So, prepare for something explosive! No, 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 not explosive. No, we've already, we've done enough. Today, we've done enough. I will venture where no one man Shakespearean Bible storyteller reenactor has ventured before. Home? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I, for the first time ever, I shall enlist the help of a wannabe actor to assist in telling my one man story. Well, then it wouldn't be a one man story because That's then... right. I am looking for a volunteer who is willing to be no. voluntold what to no. do. No, Reginald, we can't grab I'm any more I'm coming for you, no. my adoring public, thusly. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's so many aspiring actors who want to be just like me. This is fantastic and wonderful. And oh, 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 uh, oh my! I'm uh, uh, working on a budget here. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! Not at all like my professional Reg days. Reg oh, this. Uh, um, you, fair maiden, come with me. Wow. Come this way. Yes, this way, leap with me. 
leap with me high. Come, come here. Yes, excellent. Now, do you see? You are about to cross into a new world. Are you ready? Do you believe? I'm so sorry. You don't have to. Just leap to the stage. Leap. Leap upon the stage. Wow. No, no, no. Leap. Leap to the stage. Reginald, yes. I just don't uh, think that this uh, is a good idea. Yes, excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats, dogs, chinchillas, and other rodents, may I present to you for the first time ever my supporting actor, whom I shall turn into a household name, this random girl. <laughs> now we bow. Very good. Now, um, uh, pardon. <laughs> um, uh -huh. This just isn't a good idea, Reginald. I'm looking I'm over this. It just, I don't uh, think I'm this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did you say? This Not a good idea. Oh, oh sweet you, uh, whatever you are. Uh, listen very carefully. Uh, um, you must simply stop thinking because I have thought of everything for you. Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you see here? Aha. Uh -huh. See how it has landed here. Her costume, thusly in my hand. You, my dear one, shall play the role of Mary. Oh, wow. See, I shall place your shawl place upon okay. you. Like so. Uh, wrap yes, it up. Yes, let's see. Wrap it. It's just. You got to wrap it. Oh, yeah. Wrap it around. Uh, there we go. Around. Wow. Uh, wrap it perfect. right Perfect. What? What's that? What's that you say? Uh, What's that? Do you, I'm sorry. Do, do you have any lines? No. No. <laughs> no, of course not. Of course not. Only actors have lines. <laughs> Simply be a, um, a human, a human prop, much like an extra in a film, or or Keanu Reeves. No, no, this one-man musical shall be told about the greatest gift ever given, with the help of her. And thus, my performance shall commence. Thusly. Okay. Away. You just you go ahead and you go that. Okay. Away. <laughs> Just go that way because, oh. <laughs> y'all, I'm really nervous about this, but I'm gonna do it because he was he was working so hard, and then he brought somebody on stage, and so we're just gonna <clears throat> I'm just gonna read the script. It's gonna be okay. Okay. About two thousand years ago, Caesar Augustus made a decree. Hear ye! Hear ye! I hereby decree demand that all lettuce be served with croutons and parmesan cheese salad dressing. Let it be so. What? No. That probably would have had a little some. Okay. Also around that time, a man named Joseph started his journey back to his hometown of Bethlehem. Wait, 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 that's the wrong Joseph. Just go ahead, okay, all right. <laughs> Joseph, not that one, also had his wife with him and her name was Mary. <laughs> oh, psst, psst. <laughs> no, wait, no, like, like a beauty queen. Ah, better. And his wife, Mary, was with child. And this baby <clears throat> on the ground would be God's son. <laughs> but enough about that, back to the Christmas story. Okay, uh, all right. Because it's time for everyone's favorite Christmas donkey. Hey, chicky thinking, it's Dominic the donkey. Chicky 
Okay, okay, thank you. Mary, I don't even know your name. I'm so sorry that this is happening to you. I just want to say that publicly. All right, the Christmas donkey danced mightily before the Lord. You saw it. And he won the praises of critics everywhere. No, he did not. Um, then an angel of God appeared, and he too showed off his dancing skill. Oh, come on. Oh. Reginald, 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 we get the idea. Stop. You, you have never had taste for true art. I don't. She has no taste don't. for true art. You have no Reg taste. Don't come back over here. You should be ashamed. Thank you. Don't hit. But don't. the show must go on. Thank you. I'm sorry, okay? This was supposed to be about... I'm sorry? Mary and Joseph found a room at Herod Johnson's Inn. Unfortunately, it was filled with animals. time came for Jesus to be born, he had to sleep in cow's food bowl. Okay. In a nearby field, there were shepherds keeping watch over their flock. Lo, I am but a lowly shepherd. Uh, herd, uh, shepherd. I am a lowly shepherd, uh, herding sheep. Here, sheep, sheep, sheep. Here, sheep, sheep. <laughs> Here, sheep, sheep, sheep. Thank you. Here, sheep, sheep, sheep. <laughs> Go. I don't. Mm -mm. Thank you. I say, sheep, sheep. Thusly, sheep. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you got him. He is with you now. He's not going anywhere else. When suddenly an angel appeared to them. Oh! Is that a picture of you? It's the most beautiful angel I have ever seen. Oh, magnificent, splendid creature. Oh, it is so beautiful. Then the I'm angel afraid. said, Do not be afraid. My beauty is a gift to everyone. So the shepherds did as they were told and traveled the world, telling everyone about the handsome angel that they met. They went to places like Egypt. Walk like an Egyptian. Wow. They also went to New York. I want to wake up in a city that doesn't sleep and find out they even went top of the heap. Funky Town. I want to take me to Funky Town. 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 I want to take me to Funky Town. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. Want to take me to No, 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 no. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. It's done. Huh. We are done. That was beautiful. Not beautiful. That was something. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Vasily, thank you. Uh, you may, you may no, bow. Don't. Yes, you may. Stop. Take no, your bow. Go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Reginald, get off I the know. stage. Reginald. You have all been touched and amazed by my performance today. They have not. Oh, it has been splendid to be with you all. We wouldn't say touched. Oh. Thank you. Yes, well. You gotta go, um, Reginald. You gotta well, go. Well, look at the time. I, I must be off uh, my next performance. Okay. Wait. You don't, have, you don't have another I performance. Exult. Okay. Thank you. Mary, no, Mary, Mary, I'm sorry. 
Well, I don't even know your name. I'm so sorry. Listen, first of all, I just want to apologize in advance. Don't sue us. We don't have any insurance. Go ahead and find your seat. We love you. Take the shawl. Just take it with you. Um, Guys, <laughs> I'm just going to say I'm exhausted. All of my senses are exhausted, okay? All of them. Hopefully yours are not. Um, my humor also has been pushed to a new extreme today, okay? Um, but even though Reginald took us pretty far left field, we are almost complete with our mission. Because here's the deal. God knows we need to laugh right? And God knows we need to have fun and celebrate with our friends. Am I right? Yes. Most importantly, what I have been trying to tell you is that God also knows that we need rescue. God knows that a long, long time ago we needed to be rescued, that we needed him to show up for us. And here's what's so very exciting that people like you that are in this room right now that volunteer and work in churches um, and Families all over the world will get to tell the story of how God sent his son Jesus to rescue us. And we will get to tell it to the next generation so that they too will know what God did for them. So check out this video. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. Okay. Now, imagine that you're all alone. It's really quiet. And kinda dark, but then... Lights loose. Full beat. So bright, you blink and jump back. That's when the angel Gabriel shows up to see Mary. Gabriel says, don't be afraid. You're going to have a baby. God's son. Call him Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> but right before Mary's about to have the baby, her and Joseph have to travel to a faraway town called Bethlehem. Picture the trip. You're riding on a donkey and the dust gets kicked up. When Mary and Joe finally get to Bethlehem, the whole town is so loud and crowded, there's no place for them. But at last, they find a room where the animals stay. It's kind of warm and cozy, even though the hay scratches and the place smells. Ugh. And then you hear the baby. A brand new baby. Baby Jesus is seeing the whole wide world for the very first time. Mary wraps Jesus up tight and lays him on soft hay in the cow's feeding trough. Sleep, my child, in peace, attending all through the night. Estrellita, donde estás? Uri, aquí, chaldo, chanda. Picture a big open field outside Bethlehem. Sheep everywhere, like big fluffy cotton balls. You gaze up at the deep, dark sky. Then light flashes and a huge, bright angel appears. The huge angel calls out, Don't be afraid, I've got good news. God sent a baby to save everyone. He's in Bethlehem. You'll find him wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. And more and more angels appear. They're singing. Gloria a Dios a las alturas. Glory to God in the highest. The shepherds race to find Jesus in Bethlehem. They're filled with so much joy that they have to go share. But they're not the only ones that show up. You look up high, there it is, the star. Kupiol. La estrella. These wise men have been following that star for months. Riding high on a camel's back, and it bumps and sways and Spits too. Ew. Ew. <laughs> and when they show up, they give him gifts. Gold. Frankincense. And myrrh, stuff you give a king. And just like the shepherds, the wise men get down and worship Jesus. This little kid who's actually God's son. 
This little kid who's come to save the whole wide world. You and me. Do you. Noranna. You? And me. I love that. I love that God saw how deeply we needed him. And because here's the truth, we, we live in a broken world. We are broken people. We do crazy things. Sometimes we do wrong things that contribute to that brokenness. And what God did for us is he sent his son Jesus down to live in our broken world and experience it with all of his senses. And even with a sixth sense, in that sense, as we've been trying to talk about is compassion caring enough to do something about someone else's needs. And that's what God did for us. And it's just an amazing thing. And so the same compassion that God showed to us, we want to empower you to show compassion as well, especially in this Christmas season. I may be caroling at a nursing home or playing bingo or baking cookies for your next door neighbor, or maybe it's just hanging out with a family member that maybe you don't like that much. <laughs> but whatever it is, we want to make sure that we are empowering you to show compassion and do the same thing that God did for you and for me. Let's pray. God, we love you so much. And we just thank you for Christmas. We thank you for the story of Christmas and what it represents in our lives. We are asking that you just help us to be more like you, help us to love more like you, and help us to show compassion you showed. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, we hope you guys have had a good time. You had a good time tonight. All right. So, Jingle Jam, A Sensible Christmas. Um, this is going to be available to the world on July 1, but we created 200 boxes just for Orange Conference attendees, and you will get a chance to buy this box. Inside of this box is a code that will get you access to everything by June 1, and the normal price for this retail price is $169, and usually when we release a product, we do like $10 off, some sort of small discount, but for Orange Conference attendees, we have $30 off of the price, $139. Eight. I promise you when I say this, it will never be that low again. So if you want to take advantage of that, there's a bunch of these at the store. Everything you saw here tonight is included in this. We've even got some pre-show games, the dance instructional videos. Um, we also are filming this showcase, and we're going to take this video, put it inside of here so you can use this to show your volunteers to help cast vision. Yeah. We also... <laughs> We also have a commercial that we are putting together, a quick 30, 60 second commercial that you can show in your churches and show in your communities to advertise what Jingle Jam is all about. This and so much more. We hope you take advantage of it. Again, because we want you to partner with parents yep. in your churches Absolutely. and in your community. And again, the whole thing we've been talking about all conference long is we can do more together, right? Okay, so we've got one more song. So I want you guys to stand up. I want you to sing and dance. And here we go. Take it away, guys. Woo. Let's do it. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive the King. Here we go. Come on. Every heart, prepare Him room. In heaven and nature sing. In heaven and nature sing. Heaven and nature. Glory to the 
joining us at Jingle Gam. We hope you have a great rest of conference. We'll see you guys later.